Uh, we've covered the lighting options, photography and videography options, bridal attire, and now we're going to take a look at some floral ideas for summer weddings. Andy Hopper with Kathy G Designs explain. Of course, Kathy G is here as well. And we saw this bouquet earlier. This is such a great idea to have this in, in the uh, actual bouquet. Well, lots of girls are bringing me, in these day and age, bringing me brooches their grandmother had. Mm -hmm. They're bringing me things that they uh, find sentimental to them, and I want me to incorporate them in their bouquet. Yeah, absolutely. And, and so what I'm doing is incorporating them in their bouquet. That brooch is gorgeous. I wanted to make it a, you know, the showpiece of that bouquet. The flowers are gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Girls are using a lot more flowers from like their hometown or their area that they seasonal grew up too. in, seasonal yeah. that they're mm -hmm. doing. Mm -hmm. Kate Middleton did that at her wedding, which mm -hmm. was very nice to mm -hmm. do. Um, but she did that, so that's going to be really popular in the next couple of days. And then the peach and corals are going to be huge coming in next spring. Oh, wonderful. So, okay, yeah, so this the, is a spring and summer. The new yes. trend uh, colors are definitely peach, mm -hmm. coral, mm. ivory, and green. Mint, Wonderful. mint green. So okay. we're getting into more color now. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now behind us we've got a beautiful floral display. Um, this is something that you guys do as well uh, to again accent the reception. Yes. Absolutely. And Andy, explain the centerpiece here. The centerpiece is a little more flowing in the centerpiece. We have a nice garland. Garlands are very, very popular right now. Uh -huh. uh, my girls are loving the garlands. They're loving all the things in the garlands. You know, the orchids and uh, some of the flowers that last a long time, and, and that's really nice. Um, but, then, but you can just work the flowers into the orchid, you know, into oh, it, okay. and it stays uh -huh. really nicely into, the, into that. But it's a nice flowing piece, and instead of using candles to like make the, make it soften up a little bit, I used apples where the candles should be. Very pretty. So just to bring in that natural element into the you know into mm -hmm. that really blingy, nice oversized yeah. candelabra. We've you already got nice the lighting it's, covered. It's exactly. Anyway. Yeah, yeah, it's exactly. taking something a little bit of whimsy into something mm -hmm. more yes. formal. So we're finding a lot of that little play on things. Exactly. Every girl loves traditional with a twist. Yes. And that's traditional and with a twist. This is her mm -hmm. twist. Yeah. Yes. And again, if this is a kind of color that you want to accentuate with your wedding party, then this is a great way to do it as well. Yes. And again, the lighting is everything uh, on a lot of this stuff. We're going to be talking about the food in a little bit, but also the reception tables, all kinds of things you can do. Uh, it just depends on what you want. It is. Yes. It's, it's a real mix today. And it really is. And mm -hmm. I tell girls when they're picking colors choose something that you love mm -hmm. choose your favorite color and it's my job to make it work correctly and not 10 years from now you look at it and go wow why did I pick that color yeah it's everything is beautiful in the right shades and tones this is not your mother's wedding or your grandmother's exactly. wedding exactly so and that's yours. what we try to do it's yeah. personalized it's your wedding uh-huh and that goes from the flowers the food the entire look just I love the whole mm -hmm. process yes. all right well for more information on these floral options in your wedding you can set up a consultation with the team at Kathy G their website kathyg.com